my god, what's going on there? Jesus! I've never seen anything like that before. It's really that easy. And that's, what is happening there? That, that, uh, it's unbelievable. I gotta stop this one second. And hi guys, welcome back to Marcel Performance tonight on a cold Saturday night. And guess what I've been watching? I've been watching the video by Mr. Salamandre about his burning firecracker McLaren Senna. Two months ago, three months ago, his McLaren Senna all of a sudden went on fire. I know many years ago, the Ferrari 458 Italia just went on flames by itself. But this is something very, very interesting. You know what happened after that? Two days after the fire uh, of his McLaren Senna, Mr. Salamone said he doesn't want to do any YouTube reviews anymore and he's going to sell his supercars. What? How can you sell your supercars? Okay, I understand one thing. Let me explain something to you. We all feel anxiety. Sometimes we feel anxious or nervous or something. But the thing is, part of life is about experience. If you're a car lover and you love cars in your heart, in your mind, and you think about cars and you're a car person, you will accept the risk that there's going to be an accident, the car goes on fire and everything. And now he's blowing all his money on suing McLaren for compensation. If they can make him another one, that's another question. So I was very, very upset to see uh, my, one of my fellow YouTube colleagues uh, start making videos and starting to sell all these unique luxury cars he has. So, I mean, this is un unbelievable. There's, a, there's 500 people in the world who've got a McLaren Senna. And McLaren Senna is a very, very, very special car. You will always treasure it. There's no doubt about that. So, I don't know, apparently uh, some sort of engine fault uh, caused the fire and for the car to go up spontaneously in flames and then blow up. So it's very, very sad to see, but I'm, I feel frustrated that people are starting to give up in this business. Cars are about passion. Car people love passion. Car people have passion, need passion, and that makes them drive on, drive on, drive on, drive on. So I have my car magazines everywhere. I have got my car literature, I've got my, even my racing seat here and everything. I've got my car cap products here. So I feel a little bit frustrated. But that's not the only thing I want to talk uh, about tonight. There's another thing that is burning on my mind, that is burning my heart, that is setting my chest on fire. You know what it is? It's the lack of these YouTube guys talking about the big tuning companies. It's time to open up. Guys, listen, there are tuning companies out there. Tuning companies. You might say, oh, Bravos. Everyone talks about Bravos. But how about another German company called PP Performance, they're in Germany and in Abu Dhabi. And you know what they do is, they do little things. They do amazing little things. You know what? You've got, for example, you guys might like an X6 and everything. You've got like an XY50i. You know what they do? They tune it up, they remap it, and they give it 700 brake horsepower. Because you know why? The Middle Eastern customers, they like unique products. They go to unique tuners who can do things. And the other one that is doing very well is GAD Motors or GAT Motors from Germany. You know what they did? They took a C63 Black Edition, they took out the whole engine, they, they rebuilt the engine, they put Garand turbos on it, they put in race fuel, remapped the ECU, every single stage. It's got now 1200 brake horsepower, only if you use race fuel, otherwise it's only 1150 and you lose 5 uh, BHP. But these are the companies we, we need to talk about. How can we forget about them? How can we forget about the special unique products? And that's not everything, that's not everything. I'm, I, I'm a BMW person, okay? I feel it, I like it, I need BMWs. I'm an M car. My, my friend Mr. Brown is a big, big M car person. But you know what I told him, hold on Mr. Brown. There's a special car that I love. A special car that makes my heart beat. You know which one it is? It's the M4 by Moselman Turbo Systems in the Netherlands, in Holland. You know what they do? They have something called a hybrid turbo system. Have you heard about that? You know what it is? Basically, you have got two turbochargers, like these two bottles of beer. And you know what they do? They open up the turbo, they twist it, and they take out the insides and reconfigure it. So basically what they do is, they change the turbo system completely around. So what happens is, instead of like your usual 440, 450, you've got now 620 at stage one. And a stage two remap with most of mine is 650 brake horsepower. That's a performance figure. And you always talk about, oh, AMG GTR, oh, Thomas. 
Turbo S, okay, there's another Turbo S coming. But that M4 is got now at the stage 2 level, 650 brake horsepower. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. It's like boring stuff. Sometimes I'm very, very critical that some people always do the repetitive stuff. Oh, Carrera 4S, Carrera Turbo, GT3 RS, GT3. But you know what the problem is? It is not unique anymore. People want to know the special things. It's like the same sort of thing. It's like, I don't want to go to fishmongers every single day. Do they have oysters? I want to try oysters. You know what you do? You go to Harold's Food Market and you buy fucking oysters. Because I'm a fucking businessman, I can afford to eat oysters. Or, or real Persian caviar or Russian caviar or something. Unique products, special products that other people don't have. That's, that, that, that's how it is, that's how it is. And I find it burning in my heart that some of the tuners, even Super Cup Blondie or JWJ, JWW or Archie Hamilton Racing. Look, they, they spend time in a, in a little garage. They start talking, oh, I've got a Range Rover Sport SVR. And my new SVR has got new exhaust system. It's got, uh, it's slightly remapped and everything. And you talk about the new displays. I know the facelift of one has got like 562 brake horsepower and the old one has 542. And the new one has got digital display and everything. But I want to hear about different options for it. For example, you can go to uh, Overfinch and they're going to do you and maybe another 50 brake horsepower or they put another body kit on there. I want to see something different. How many people out there drive a Range Rover Sport SVR? I was on the motorway this morning picking Mr. Brown up from the airport and had an SVR in front of me. And I said, oh my god, there's another SVR in front of me. And that's boring. That's boring. That's boring. I, you know what we need? We need a firecracker. We need a firecracker moment. in when it comes down to the tuning companies. And sometimes what you need to do is, you need to start looking. I wouldn't expect Mr. JWW, w, Super Cup Blondie, to go out there, nice jacket, nice sexy moves, you go to the places, also Mr. Shmi 150, you're gonna visit those places like PP Performance, you're gonna chat with the guys, you're gonna sit down, and you're gonna ask them, what is so special about this car? What can it do, what my car can't do? And they're going to tell you about the heritage, how people have put the company together. There's like a couple of guys that set up PP Performance a few years ago. That company is not 20 years old or something, it's like a decade old. But it's one of the newer special tuners. People who know what they can do, go to them. And that's what people deserve to know. People must know, I love PP Performance. PP Performance. Then Abu Dhabi as well. And you know, when it comes down to car tuning, car tuning sometimes is it's an art. It's like uh, it's like bakery, you know. It's like coffee making. It's like the same sort of thing. It's, you know what I feel in my heart? Is I go to a coffee shop and I say to the nice girl, "Hey, do you have real arabica beans?" And she says to me, "Yes, Mr. Ghani, we've got the uh, arabica beans from Colombia. We've got the Brazilian ones. We've got Kenyan ones. We've got this. We've got this." She talks about variety. I can feel the passion and everything. But where is the where is the talk about the variety with my other colleagues? Uh, we need to see and we need to show variety when it comes down to tuning companies because people in this world deserve to know that there's other companies out there capable of doing magical things. I'll tell you something. The G-Class. Oh, the G-Class. Many people have got the AMG G63 on order or they have already got it in a driveway. But listen to this. GAD motors in Germany and in the Middle East. You know what they do? They tune it up to a thousand horses. A thousand horses. We keep on talking about, oh, Brabus White Star 700 brake horsepower, as I did in my previous video. But this time we're going a thousand horses plus in the G class. A thousand horses! Where's, where's my beautiful Super Cup Blondie? Where are you, darling? You need to go and see and drive that car. Or may, and look at the, uh, maybe she's over there, hidden somewhere. I don't know, I don't know. But I feel frustrated. I feel frustrated and angry that I'm gonna take this this plastic gear stick and I throw it in the corner because why should I why should I tolerate this? Why should I tolerate tolerate the same information over and over again? I feel frustrated. I need to show my frustration. I, I keep on telling people you need to have different choices. You need to accept different choices. And that, that's how it is. And you know what you know what um, what I've learned as well? You know Clive Sutton, the American car guy in, in London, you know what he does? They have, they have tuned the, uh, with the new supercharger kit. 
uh, the CS800. You know what the CS800 is, guys? It's based on the 5 liter Mustang V8. That's basically the baby car, the, the base car. And you know what? Uh, they took it to Monaco and people were looking, oh my god, what is this? What is this? It's got a huge supercharger kit. They have developed their own supercharger kit. And you know, listen, guys, I'm an American car person as well. But listen, where is Shmi now? Where is uh, Super Cup Lodi? Where is Mr. JWW? And where is Silent Wondering? Where are all these guys? Because, you got, because for example, Geiger cars. One of my utmost favorite tuners and luxury car specialists. They're based in uh, Germany. You know what they do? Geiger cars. They do tuning packages mostly for high performance American cars. They do also packages for pickup trucks and also for Ferraris and Porsches and Lamborghinis. You talk about Geiger cars, people say to me on the street, Hey Marcel, what is a Geiger car? What is Geiger car? Geiger cars fucking is a super car tuner. Super pickup tr uh, tuner. But you don't respect the... Uh, you gotta respect when someone comes, takes a, a, G, a GMC Tucon, and they, they they change the inside of the engine, they remap it, and now it's got 700 brake horsepower. They do they do so many amazing things. Chevrolet Silverado, Ford F150 pickup truck. Look, that is what you need. They, they, they come, these companies are unique. These companies are are known, but not everyone knows them. It's like you gotta have the special feel for it. Guys, I demand, I demand that these people are become uh, known. I demand that we stop talking about always the same normality. What is normal? How do you define normality? I wanna ask you a question, guys. What is normality and how do you define normality? Is it normal for me to be a wealthy businessman and a, a crazy, crazy fucking car guy with lots of money? Is it, is it normal for me to spend a lot of fucking money on, on cars? Is that normal? Is that normal? Yes and no. People will say, oh my god, Mr. Gunny comes in with his nice shirt and everything. He's going to spend a hundred grand on a new car. Of course, that's a beautiful thing to do. But listen to it. Normality is hard to define. You need to be different. It's about individuality. I'm individual. I think differently. I do business differently. But I, I demand to see individuality when it comes down to tuning companies. And I feel like... These, these guys uh, on YouTube, they, 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 they don't focus on these companies. We must focus on these companies. We must go there, we must see them, we must feel them. We, we gotta learn about them. We gotta sit there, we gotta, we gotta talk about it, and we gotta understand what is actually happening. And it's been happening for a very, very long time. It's like, some people say, oh Master, it's like backstreet tuning. What is backstreet tuning? You know, what the, you know where tuning started? Tuning started many, many decades ago. Tuning, guys, let me tell you a little love story. Tuning was, a, it was done by individuals in places such as uh, Tokyo, Lagos in Nigeria, uh, for example, in parts of uh, uh, Dusseldorf, in the Germany, Cologne, in places like that, where pe uh, and Moscow in, in, uh, in Russia people started to come together for events. People started to, uh, to think differently about cars. So they said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the body of the car, we're gonna change the interior of the car, we're gonna change the engine, how can we do this? So Backstreet Tuning laid the foundation for professional tuning companies. And we must talk about that. We can't always go with standard cars, we can't always go with standard. What is standard? What is standard? I'm drinking Nescafe because I have no other choice. But I'm not looking for Nescafe, I want proper Arabica beans. But what can I do? Uh, there's no proper coffee shop around here. Okay guys, next time we're going to talk a little bit more about the tuning. And I promise you I'm going to give you a big big show. So stay tuned with Marcel Performance. I love you guys, very very appreciative of your time. So subscribe and enjoy my channel. Thank you so much and good night guys.